Hello, this is Craig, and I wanted to show you what I've been working on for the past couple of hours. You'll have to ignore any excessively loud background noise, as I can't catch a break today. <sighs> Anyhow, in the old squad-based games like XCOM, you would set aside some of your points, some of your action points, to shoot at the enemy on their turn as they moved into your field of vision. I decided that really deserved its own game. So this here, I've got two characters on the bottom and one enemy on the top, just to show you the mechanics of what's going on. The timer in the upper right hand corner tells you how much time is left for a given turn. Now you can skip it, you don't have to wait out that full time, but since it is continuously ticking along, it gives the game a good flow and you can easily make it cooperative or competitive multiplayer. Because the turns have such a rigid length, you don't have to worry about waiting for the next person to do their turn. Uh, as you can see, I don't have to click to aim. Uh, it just follows the mouse around. In fact, if I were to click, all I would do is walk. Uh, instead, what you do is, when you are aiming, you, uh, you aim for wherever you're going to aim, and then you wait for the enemy to do their turn. And even if the enemy doesn't move, you, they are still simulated as, as uh, you know, being shot. So there you go, I just killed him. Uh, so in short, this game is a, is a similar to a uh, uh, turret defense game in some ways because you're setting up these points of fire that attack the enemy on the enemy's turn rather than telling your guys to attack on their turn. You can tell them to do a manual fire on their turn, but that means that they don't get to do the uh, aimed attack, the reactive shot. So this is largely a game about going to the various objectives. The actual levels are much, much larger than this demo map. Um, and the objectives are things like computers and elevators and so on and so forth. And so you'd be running around these maps, and as you move through them, you would have to uh, set up your lanes of fire in order to make sure that the enemy um, wouldn't get the, get the drop on you and screw you over. So there's a tactical element, and that tactical element is setting up your lanes of fire correctly and doing things like uh, closing doors and... Uh, locking them or blowing up stuff or trying to put out or start fires. Um, many tactical options are available uh, or would be if this wasn't a simple demo. But one of the things you've got to be careful of is that your characters <laughs> you need to be careful not to walk through your own lane of fire or you will get your ass shot off by your allies. So there's a lot of considerations to make but it's all very straightforward and simple and it flows easily from turn to turn. The idea is something that's easy to do, easy to build, but hard to master. Easy to use, but hard to master. And uh, the enemy, of course, will also have units that can set up lanes of fire, and some that can't. Um, so it's all a matter of setting things up as uh, uh, it's a full full complexity te tactical game in one mouse click. Anyhow, sounds like the noises have started, so I'm done.